Hi guys, hopefully this is a short video for you. Um, I'm just, um, sorry about that. I'm just um, gonna do the milk paint effect on this. And I'm doing, um, as you know, I've done quite a few uh, videos with the milk paint, but I wanted to, this is just a little like jewelry kind of box that I'm going to I wanted to keep the actual timber look of it I was just going to varnish just stain the rest but the top I want to have something special just on the top that I can put some of the um, gloss coating on it but I just want the rest to look like timber so I will um, what you call it yeah coat that with just a, a wood stain so, but I'm going to do, I have put my masking tape around the edge because I don't want this paint to drip all down the edges. This is Montmartre Studio Acrylic that I already had and it's the deep, sort of, um, the deep purpley colour. So I just don't really want it to drip anywhere but I'm sure that won't happen because if I say that and plan it, Mind you, isn't it? Um, ask, believe, and you will receive. So I should stick with that mantra that it's all going to be fine. Oh, look at that. No, 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 no. And I haven't put my gloves on. Oh, it's because I'm at the end of my day. It's really hot out here, but I just wanted to come out and paint. So I'm, yep, sweating cobs. It's just dripping off me. So hopefully for Christmas, my dear husband might buy well no not he buy me i can buy it but help me get together and put in an air conditioner it's all right he's standing here look, looking at me smiling so it's all good no secrets no secrets is there darling <laughs> well we don't want to tell them here on the camera <laughs> okay so it's I'm, just i'm going for a swim where are you going for a swim. Oh, you're going for a swim. Oh, they, they'll say, no, oh, your husband's a... always going for a swim when you're in the middle. And they, I'm not going to have a doggy date, so. Oh, you're not. Oh, we, he normally goes to the farm next door and lets our Australian Shepherd have a play with their dog. Um, she enjoys that. But he said no doggy date. He's going for a swim. It's too hot. Okay, I've just coated that. I'm going to do the Julie Cuts thing where she bought this hair brush, like men's hair brush, and I got um, I got several today. <laughs> They're very cheap, two dollars. So I thought instead of keep having to wash and my brush, I can I can just go for my little life with them. So anyway. Yeah, Julie made a video um, dipping the milk, uh, dipping these little hair brushes, which have got like solid bristle, into the milk paint, and then putting them in. So whereas I was using the droplets, so I'm going to give it a go. Here goes Julie. Let's see how it comes. Ooh, there you go. I'm going to use. Well, see, I'm picking up the purple from underneath, so I didn't want to do it again. But yeah, look at that, looky, looky. Probably shouldn't have started off in the middle, should I? Because I'm going to go like all crazy now. Oh. Can overlap, can be. What a nice effect that gives. Thank you Julie. <laughs> All right. Thank you John. He's going for his swim. He's had enough. <laughs> it's very hot and that's where I will be going after this so I just thought I'd give you a looky-see. So yeah these little combs and I've just put mine, I put um, say it's 50% milk paint, 50% Floetrol, good mix up. Um, you can use the milk paint in the different colours. I've got a black one coming, so I'll have white or yellow underneath and do some black or chocolate brown. So it just gives an interesting effect, doesn't it? Go over what I've done. 
kind of probably is best that you wipe in between each one because I'm picking up the blue from underneath. But there you go. How simple was that? Simple but effective, I believe. So, yeah, these little $2 grooming combs, that's what they're called. The grooming brush detangles and massages your scalp. There you go. Good little brushes, $2. Easy peasy, Japanesey to have as these little um, tools for special effects. I'm using the um, Folk Art Milk Paint, which I know um, my where I get my gear from, the online um, acrylic supplier has only got, I think it's got all the other colours but white and Folk Art are not making them, but I'm absolutely sure that there's alternatives have been trying the, the um, milk paint in a powder form but I need to get the mix right because it didn't um, dry as well as what this does so looky looky very good for like doing you know trinket boxes and so forth so let me give you a close up of that Ooh. And obviously, as time goes by now, it will uh, spread out a little bit because it's like a honeycomb effect, I suppose. But it was Julie's idea to use those brushes, which, you know, like she said, and we all know, like from the, um, what is it, the chameleon thing? Not that I've, I haven't uh, done that. Oh, on camera anyway uh, using combs which I have got but that's just a nice effect on objects isn't it or, or um, on a canvas yeah you can see they're just slightly spreading out what did I want to show you while I've got you here okay uh, just an update from my as well the pouring resin that I did on a video a couple of days ago or yesterday I can't remember now do not if you buy this just use it as it is and don't use any water in it because when I added water to dilute it it cracked um, and it's absolutely fine if you don't add the water to it which I showed you is on my MDF but um, what is her name? Lucy McLeod put a, I'll put the link up on my Acrylic Art by Julie Cube Facebook page. Uh, Lucy put up a video and I'm sorry, I don't know the woman's name, but I will find out and I'll put it in my drop down box and you can have a look at her. What she did was she got the, um, she used oh, she didn't use this one she used something else i don't know a pouring medium slightly watered it down and i'll just move this so i can quickly show you she slightly put water in it but the way she did it was she used a lint a lint free cloth so you could use an old t-shirt that's been washed a million trillion times or these cloths that I buy on a roll are supposed to be lint free so I've just damped this down just very very just damp and then I've already put to, I've already done it twice but you can do it um, so okay I put a bit of that the fusion pouring resin into a separate container with a tiny weeny bit of water just to and I um, poured it and this is what the lady did on her video which um, Lucy said she swears by now poured it on and with a damp cloth then just quickly rub it in or just wipe it on so you're wiping it on then don't go over it too many I'm just going around the sides oh, not that the sides painted on that because it was test pour I'll do it so because you're basically wipe, wiping it on and, and this is another little one of my dips that I did 
you're interested in these videos for these I'll put the link in the drop down box so yeah it's um she said if you wipe it on like that so you've got your wiping on you can do about four coats within half an hour because it dries really quick and it's drying and there's no problem with it at all like it's drying like this they've all had two coats so far so this will be the third so i'm basically not using dipping it you know pouring it again i'm just using what's on my cloth and just you can just keep coating it and keep coating it and building it up but that then is you know uv resistant and it says that it won't ever yellow so it's giving you know this really good um coat and plus this will go that if you don't want that thick glass glass look but you still want it to look um protected and it's got a nice shine on it then this will go a long way doing it that way than if you pour the whole thing on like a glassy effect but yeah so it's basically just wipe it on with a lint free cloth and then just you touch it well i was touching it about 10 minutes it was completely dry so like lucy said within four uh, within half an hour she's put four coats on and that's and she said it's so it, you, she can just go through all of her work really quickly so 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 just go back to this other little that one's the same I, I did them all at the same time so i will just pour a little bit more onto this these were my dips that i did videos um a number of weeks ago so they're all dry giving them a nice so it's basically it's using your lint free cloth i'll just wipe it around the edges and I'm supposed to have gloves on so sorry so you put gloves on don't do a silly jilly and there you go and you can just you can just keep building it up like that and um, keep going I'll just put them down on the um, plastic cloth and that's another one so there you go you've got all these um, little tips and tricks in this video uh, all free to you from me to you Merry Christmas <laughs> thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and if you haven't please do so it costs you nothing but it does help me but more so than anything come back and um, watch my videos so that's a quick coat in that resin every all the products that I've used they're online in the drop down box they don't deliver to the USA because nobody will insure them to do that apparently they get the insurers in Australia say they won't insure to the US because they, they get sued all the time um, so I don't know how true that is or what the deal is with that but they do de uh, they do send out oh, sorry about that they do send out um, to uh, the UK and Australia so the link to any of these things i've used today is in that drop down box um, there and i will put if anybody's interested the link to these other pores if you haven't the dip the dip i think one was a dip on bubble wrap and one was a dip on scrunched up foil and uh, one was just the blue ones were a dip just from canvas to canvas i think those those ones were a deep they were just from one canvas to the next so as you can see this is getting sheeny and shiny so that's the third coat so if I wanted a glass glossy glass coat I would just keep doing that then you've got no um, repercussions of it sort of uh, cracking or anything because you're putting each coat on so thinly and just building on it so yeah that was just quickie for you for you guys and that other my little box look it's coming along nicely I'll let that all dry I'll take the tape off I'll um, just put some uh, wood varnish over my woody bits and then I will put this clear pouring resin over the, that top again so oh good thanks for joining me guys thanks so much for the beautiful comments and feedback I'm getting let me know uh, what you think about these things that I've um, given you some ideas for today thank you see you again next time